Hi guys, a uh, few little projects or themes being brought together here. A week or so back, I bought this in a charity shop. Desktop electronic perpetual motion. Um, battery operated, so obviously not real perpetual motion. That's the base from it. And what it does, there's an electromagnet in there. When this thing swings around, that's got a magnet on the bottom of it. As it passes the electromagnet, it triggers a pulse of magnetism that pushes it. So it actually swings backwards and forwards. And because it's got these other bits here, you get a bit of sort of chaotic motion going on where things swing in opposite directions. It lasted for about five days before it ran the batteries down. And if I took the center section out, the outer section still um, rocked all right with the fairly dead batteries in it. But I wanted to do something else with it. I mean, that is more or less a pulse motor circuit in there. I do quite a few pulse motors. I usually use the circuits out of solar rockers because they do the same sort of thing. Anyway, a few weeks back, I bought this Halloween item from uh, Poundland. It's got a little light in it somewhere, if I can find it. It did go on then. Oh, gosh. I think the batteries have run down in it. We can just about see it. There is, a, there is a yellow light in there. Anyway, I did a video on trying to get the glass cloche out of there because it's hot glued in place. I managed to break one of them, but this one I got out okay. That just happens to be about the right size to sit on there. So you can probably guess where we're going here. I 3D printed something to go inside there that will make use of the magnet, electromagnet, and sit in the cloche. And then another theme that I've got going, these are neodymium magnets that come out of the disposable mouthpiece for vapes. You usually get two in the disposable mouthpiece. So I collect them together so that I can have the Neodymium magnets. You can buy them, obviously, but if they're free, I'd rather have free ones. So, at the moment, I've taken the batteries out of there, so nothing happens other than that is attracted to the center core of the um, electromagnet. What I've done here is this should be right size to fit in there, probably a little bit looser than it needs to be, but this will be version one. I want to make sure it fitted rather than actually breaking anything if we try to push it together. Those should fit in the existing holes, if I've got it right. Yep, they fit in there. So this is all a little bit looser. than the finished item would be. But you can see, as I say, you can see where we're going. And then these bits are going to be suspended in there. A couple of bicycle spokes here. So those will go through there. Uh, where are we? That one's a little bit tighter than it should be. Right, so the idea is there'll be magnets in either end of here, one there, one there, 
one there, one there. They'll all be pointing the same way, so they will repel each other there. And then the, the magnet under there should push that out of the way. I don't think it will spin all the way round, but it should rock backwards and forwards, and that should rock backwards and forwards. As I say, it's all a little bit loose at the moment because I want to make sure it fitted together. We can adjust the settings in the next print. So what I will do is I'll stick these magnets in there, and then we'll see if it works. I've made several mistakes with this first version. Um, the bearing surfaces need to be made narrower. There's too much friction. But the other thing <laughs> is I was thinking these were north-south end-to-end, but they're not. not. They're north-south across the flats that way. So I need to turn the orientation of the magnets round so they go across ways, not end on. So that was a silly mistake. I can make these narrower to reduce the friction, so that will help. You'll see on here, I've just tried using blue tack to hold the magnets in place, but that's not really going to do the job. So we'll reprint these pivots, or whatever you want to call them. I thought I would just check whether the magnet is actually working, the electromagnet. If I give this a swing, so that part of it's working, but there's no way I'm going to put that inside the cloche because that'll be smashing the sides open. <laughs> So I think I'll abandon the idea of using the uh, vape magnets. Use some that are a little bit bigger. <laughs> and have a rethink on my design. So we'll call this version one, but there's quite a few things I need to change. You can see I'm holding it still. If I let go of that, it rocks around far too much. So, uh, yeah, and there's no way we'll have that swinging around in there. So a complete redesign is required. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.